Hi, welcome to my new office at the Gateway Center. Why don't you come on in? My name is Larry Newman. Today I wanted to talk to you about one of my cases uh, and why it could be dangerous to just borrow somebody's car. I practice in Ithaca, New York, but I cover about seven or eight counties around me depending upon the time of year. In the summer, of course, I cover greater distances. In the winter, I cover shorter distances. That said, though, this is about why it could be dangerous to borrow somebody's car. Well, in this particular case that I had, it was the granddaughter borrowing the grandfather's car. And you think, Grandpa's car has got to be in good shape. Can't have any issues, right? Because Grandpa's so responsible and accountable because that's why he's Grandpa, right? Well, it turned out that Grandpa uh, let the registration lapse. Grandpa let the insurance lapse. So here we are, granddaughter driving Grandpa's car. And it also had a broken headlamp on it. She gets pulled over for that. Who gets charged with the two misdemeanors? Two misdemeanors being no registration, no insurance on a car. She gets charged with those two crimes. And she's saying, it's unfair. I didn't know. Knowledge is not a component of an uninsured or unregistered motor vehicle. Not a component at all. In other words, it's not an element of the crime. There are certain crimes you have to have knowledge. If your driver's license is suspended, you don't have knowledge that's a defense. But it's not a defense because the society that we live in, New York State that we live in, steads, we don't want people not having insurance, not having a registered car, and then having somebody else drive them around. And then they can all play the I didn't know card. You know what I mean? So she got charged with two misdemeanors, had to deal with the court, had to deal with the whole thing. I was able to get them knocked down to non criminal offenses. In her particular case, I got it knocked down to a littering violation. I know. What does that make really make sense? But yes, because uh, the court just wanted the money. The prosecutor wanted money for a huge littering ticket. Uh, and another nondescript violation, no points. Uh, every case is different. Can't guarantee a result, but I can tell you this. Know whose car you're borrowing before you borrow it. Make sure it is registered. Make sure it is insured because that same car could also have drugs in it and you could be charged with possession of drugs uh, if you don't know the cars that you're borrowing. If you have any questions about your traffic-related offenses, the DWI case, drug-related case in the upstate region of New York, these are the types of cases I handle. You can either give me a call or shoot me an email. And thanks for watching this video.